Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the freezer evaporator fan motor and the felt seal in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a 3 8 second wrench with an extension and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new freezer evaporator fan motor and a felt seal. This evaporator fan motor is located in the freezer compartment mounted at the back of the rear cover panel. The evaporator fan motor, when running, blows cold air throughout the freezer compartment. If you can't hear sound or feel the airflow and the temperature inside the freezer compartment gets way above normal, it's time to check and replace the freezer evaporator fan motor and a felt seal if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Now I'm going to remove the uh, drawer from the freezer. slide it out. Next we're going to use a 3 8 socket wrench and we're going to take out three bolts here that hold the door. Three on each side. And now we're going to lift off the door. I'm going to push the door rails in. Now I'm going to remove the freezer drawers pull out and lift it off. Same here, pull out, lift it off. And I'm gonna push in the rails. All right, so our next step would be removing this uh, cover and I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm gonna insert it into this opening and we're gonna pry this, push it up. And now we can pull it down slightly and remove it. So now I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to squeeze these uh, side tabs and pull it down. So now I'm going to take out the harness from this holder and I'm going to pull it out. Let it hang and uh, now I'm going to remove this uh, the motor itself. So we have a uh, tab here on the side and there's two tabs here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to pull, at the same time, I'm going to pull the motor frame out. And then I'm going to slide it this way. This is the old freezer evaporator fan motor and the felt seal next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, so we're going to bring it to the uh, workable surface. And uh, we need to install this felt seal on the motor. So uh, the seal has uh, those cutouts. And we're going to match them to the uh, motor frame. I'm going to peel it off. And uh, I'm going to start installing it. Perfect. Hmm, what are we going to do with those uh, little pieces that are not fitting anywhere? Oh, we're going to bend them. How about that? Uh, 
and now it's going to go inside the freezer. Okay, let's install the uh, fan motor into the bracket. I'm going to start with one side here, and then we're going to press the other side in. We need to lock this and make sure that uh, everything is locked here. Now I'm going to slide the harness under the retainer. And now I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to put it away. Next, we're going to slide in the uh, cover, the motor cover. Put it like that. And we're going to slide this side tabs. Uh, ears would be probably a nice name for it. Push it up. And this will lock in. Okay, now I'm going to place the drawers in. I'm going to pull out the rails. I'm going to show you how this bin goes in. This tip goes right there, and this one, two, and three tabs goes in those cutouts here. Same on this side, so. Now we're going to pull out the uh, door rails. All right, now we're going to install the door. We're going to place it on the slides, on the hinges. And uh, underneath of these two rails, this hook will go into this cutout on one side and the opposite side. So now let's secure the uh, door to the uh, hinges here. I have three 3 8 bolts on each side. I'm going to start manually and I'm going to use the socket wrench here. All right, now I'm going to install this uh, freezer drawer. Bring it in, place it, and so this bottom part will fit into the cutout, and it's installed. Now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.